Okay, so this will be the first video in my new newest playlist that I'll be making a series of videos that is recycling center finds. Um, this is these are all from my local recycling center. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you where it is because that's for my privacy issues. Um, but these are your common recycling centers that's found throughout the U.S. And this is my first find for the day. Uh, it's not my first find overall because I've got a lot of stuff from the recycling center before. But now only I decided to start a video series on this and upload it to YouTube. So if you want to see the rest of the videos from my uh, video series that I'll be uploading in the future, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and also subscribe to my channel to show me some support and to see my future content. So now let's get right into this first video, and that is my first find, well, technically find for this video, this series, uh, 2009 MacBook Pro, 250 gigabyte hard drive, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, the, the, the 13 inch model, obviously the non-retina display. Um, let's have a quick go around of the device, and also sorry about the angle of where I'm keeping my camera, I'm actually not using a camera, this is just an iPod. Uh, on top of a stack of books. I don't have a camera stand, so sorry about that. Um, it's got a slight ding over there, and something seems to have gazed upon, grazed upon it over there. Uh, probably something knocked up on it. Um, a few scuffs and scratches here and there. I'm not really sure if that's showing up on camera, but okay. So let's take a look at the side. You got a DVD drive here, DVD write and burn, um, Kingsington lock. Um, the back, obviously, the piece of plastic that hides the hinges. Uh, we got MagSafe 1 over there, Ethernet, Firewire, Thunderbolt, two USB 2.0 ports, um, micro SD card reader, headphone jack, and the battery status indicator button. So you press that and it tells how much of battery you have. Something that's missing in newer MacBooks, but was a nice touch in older ones. Bunch of screws at the bottom, uh, recovering the serial number there. A uh, bunch of screws at the bottom, nothing much. And yeah, now let's open it up, see what it looks like from the inside. Um, so that's the keyboard. Uh, all the keys seem to work. N nothing, no discoloration or anything on the trackpad. So I was really happy about that. Uh, all the keys work. Um, I've tested them out. Uh, I haven't loaded an operating system of this yet, but I b booted into recovery mode and all sorts of things. I just put a disk in that's not compatible to this, Mac, Mac OS disks, but it's not compatible. But I was still able to fidget around with the keys. Um, everything works. Uh, also, this didn't come, obviously, with its original installation disk, so I'll have to uh, burn an image onto a pen drive and then load it onto it. So, let's take a look at the display. That. So, display looks pristine, there's nothing wrong with it, perfectly works, and let's turn it on, for the first time, actually on camera, to show you that it works. There we are. Well, obviously, command option R is not going to boot into uh, internet recovery mode, because its uh, recovery partition has been erased. Obviously, because uh, the re recycling center wipes the hard drives entirely, they just wipe them, and they then only they give you the the, the, the machine. Because according to U.S. standards, uh, old computers should be completely wiped before they are handed over to a new owner to protect the previous owner's data. Obviously, so its hard disk was erased, and actually, its hard disk is right here. I've taken it out. It's just a horrible uh, 5200 RPM Toshiba 256GB hard drive. Um, your standard Toshiba hard drives, you've seen these around. Nothing special, nothing much. So as you can see, the MacBook is now uh, awaiting storage media to install its OS, but I haven't done that yet, so I'll turn it off. Um, so it came with 4 gigs of RAM. These are, I don't know what the hell that brand is, it's just an M like thing I've never seen that before maybe I have but I really don't know what those that brand is so tell me in the comment section if you know what that brand is so two gig sticks each so that's a total of four gigs um, I took I took out the hard drive as well like it because um, I'll be upgrading this to an SSD I'll be putting a PNY 120 gigabyte SSD now you'll say 120 gigabyte is not enough obviously it is not but I won't be using this as a full-time laptop it'll be just like my uh, the thing that's just there to use occasionally, probably watch some videos on it. Not gonna do much with it because I already have my own MacBook Pro, 
and uh, I do my stuff on that. That's a, a mid-2014 laptop, and it's it has an SSD and uh, Retina display and all that stuff. So an older one like this is just only for the sake of just bringing it. Uh, I didn't want to leave it there in the recycling center, obviously. It's a working laptop and so on. So let's get inside the MacBook now. Like I said, I opened it up, and I haven't cleaned it or anything. Uh, so I'm going to show you how good condition, how in good condition it is. I'll take that out. That's the internals. Uh, I've put 8 gigs of RAM in there, but uh, my um, SSD still hasn't showed up, so I don't know. Uh, it'll probably take another week or so, so till it comes from eBay. But this is what it looks like. I have not cleaned anything. As you can see, it's really clean. I don't know how this, this happened, because Usually these old laptops that come from recycling centers, they are usually pretty disgusting. And the fan is supposed to be clogged up full of dust. But it isn't. And obviously I don't really have to do much cleaning, but I thought I'll just um, take out the fan, replace the thermal paste that pastes it onto the heatsink under there. Um, just replace the thermal paste for all time's sake. Fresh thermal paste will always work better. Um, wait till my SSD comes. Got 8 gigs of RAM in there, that's, I think they were, yeah, crucial sticks, 2 4 gig sticks, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, that'll keep this running for a long time to come, because uh, obviously it's an old MacBook, it's a Core 2 Duo, uh, I'm not really sure what the process was, I forgot to check, but it's a Core 2 Duo obviously, and the only way to bring life back to one of these older machines is to put an SSD and uh, upgrade the RAM to its full potential. So yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing anything on camera with it. Number one, I don't have the proper equipment to do a lot of stuff on camera here. Um, I'm off to college. I'm in college, so I haven't brought all my stuff along with me. Uh, but I will be uh, putting an operating system onto this and so on. So I'll probably do a continuation video to this. I'll keep put the link in the description when that happens or in the card above and you so you can go watch that video whenever it's released. I'll install the operating system and run a few programs on it and see how it works and whether I'll, I'll give you an eval evaluation whether it's actually a usable computer in 2017. Also, um, this like I said like I said, this is not the first laptop I got from the recycling center. This is a 15-inch MacBook Pro, also mid-2009, uh, that I got from the recycling center. Uh, obviously, it's bigger than the other one. It doesn't fit in the screen. Uh, this one works perfectly. I've loaded everything, and it also came with its installation disk. Um, I was able to upgrade it to um, the, la the latest that it supports. That's El Capitan. And, yeah, so I use this laptop a lot, uh, mainly because of the 15-inch uh, my other MacBooks. 13 inch the one the mid 2014 one that I have so yeah so this is a perfectly working laptop and I'll be waiting till I install an operating system on this and let's see what it's got so yeah thanks for watching this video and again it's just to show you what I got in the recycling center also don't forget to check out my channel uh, like my videos and subscribe if you really want to see more content from me and also if you want to see more content from this Recycling Center playlist, click the link at the end of the video to go to the next video and or to the playlist. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.